Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the What's Next on Hamza Shiraz, the undefeated middleweight contender following his career best win, a destructive first round TKO victory over former world title challenger Liam Williams. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Shiraz, um, I lucked out and was able to watch him for the first time on this ESPN card. I actually uh, lucked out big time that day because I got home and right when I sat down to, eat some, uh, to get something to eat, I turned ESPN on and boom, it was on right at that moment. The walkouts happened and everything. And man, what a destructive victory for um, for uh, Shiraz in this one. He he blitzed and always tough Liam Williams, a tough ass veteran. And I was just shocked at the way he just destroyed him and the way he knocked him down the first time with a jab. I mean, that was just insane. But a big time win for Shiraz as he pushes forward now. And let's uh, run him through the, the rest of the top 10 and see what's next for Hamza Shiraz. We start with number one, Janabek Alamanhalai, the reigning IBF and WBO undefeated champion. And believe it or not, this fight could happen sooner rather than later because Shiraz is the number one ranked contender by the WBO right now. Um, and Janabek has been calling guys out uh, for a year and a half, couple years now stating that nobody wants to fight him. Now Jonabek is the unified champ. Will he fight Shiraz? Will the WBO order this fight? I think this fight has a very strong chance of happening next or this year. I definitely think we could see Shiraz and Alaman Halai, Kazakh style, in the ring sooner rather than later. So look to see if that fight can be made. Then there's uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, Chris Eubank is the WBO's number two contender. Um, Eubank could pretty much fight whoever he wants, but I really think he's going to stay away from Shiraz, at least for now, um, until Shiraz at least locks up a world title. I mean, Eubank could get the fight with Janabek if he wanted it, but he doesn't seem too uh, big on pushing for that fight. And, um, you know, Shiraz is looking like a wrecking ball, so I don't think Eubank's going to give him the time of day right now at least then there's wbc champion carlos adamas well this is another well he's not the wbc champ he's the interim champion is adamas this is an interesting one because shiraz is number two in the wbc you got nursal tom tomoff is number one in the wbc with adamas number two but i really think adamas is eventually going to be our wbc champion because i don't think charlo is going to be returning to 160 to fight especially if he has the fight with Canelo locked up. So um, will Adamas fight a guy like Shiraz or will he fight somebody else? So with Nur Sultana in front of him and with Adamas and then probably going to want to avoid that fight unless they absolutely have to and get ordered. I don't think this fight's going to happen next, to be honest. Um, but I do think it's a fight that could happen in the future sometime. Then there's... Um, then there's Liam Smith, the former world uh, title, the former world champion at 154, been around, a good, solid, tough fighter right here. Would he give Shiraz the opportunity? Well, Liam Smith has been in the ring with Liam Williams as well. He's coming off a tough loss to Chris Eubank. Would he sign on the dotted line to fight Shiraz? I think that's a possibility. I think Liam Smith could see the value in an all UK battle right here and take him on. So I definitely think it's a possibility, but I'm not sure if Liam Smith wants to fight, but Liam Smith has never really shied away of fighting an opponent, but Shiraz is a wrecking ball, and it's going to be interesting to see if Liam Smith wants that fight. I think if he wants it, I think um, Shiraz, as long as he doesn't get ordered to fight for the title, would be there for that fight right away, so we'll see. Then there's Arislandi Lara, the WBA champion. Not going to happen. Lara's fighting Michael Zarafa next, and then after that, um, I think Lara's just going to go in the PBC direction, maybe not even fight the rest of the year because that's been his M.O. Um, for years now. Um, and I could see, uh, you know, and, and Zarafa is like,
like number 11 in the WBA. So yeah, I'm really not seeing this one being a possibility. Then there's um, the WBC champion, Jamal Charlo. I absolutely don't think Charlo has any interest in fighting Shiraz. And I don't think Charlo really has any interest in fighting at middleweight anymore. So I don't see this one as a possibility. Then there is a uh, number, then there's former IBF champion Vicente Gualtieri. Now, if for some reason Shiraz does not get a, a title shot or a big fight next, um, you know, and that's definitely a possibility because guys might try to avoid him. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a guy like Gualtieri signed on the dotted line to fight him because Gualtieri's coming off the loss against Janabek and he probably wants to um, avenge that defeat. You know, he probably wants to look better and come back with a stronger performance. So we'll see. I definitely could see this fight going down though um, uh, for both men. Then there's Austin Williams, the undefeated contender. I think Austin Williams is gonna position himself for, an, for another world title or to get into title contention instead of go after a guy like Shiraz next. It's a risk right there. They're both undefeated and I, I just think Williams would avoid this one. Then there's Elijah Garcia. Garcia, kind of the same thing. He fights with the PBC. I think he probably would avoid this one um, and and go after something else. But it's not to say the fight can't happen, but I just think he probably would prefer something else, so I don't see this one. And then there's Shane Mosley Jr., the veteran. You know, he's coming off with some big wins. Um, if the zone could persuade him and Shiraz to get into the ring, I think the fight's a possibility, but I'm, I'm going to lean towards the less likely. So for me, Shiraz, I think in terms of top 10, I think Liam Smith's a real possibility. Um, Vicente Gualtieri, those are just ballpark figures that I think are former champs that would be down to fight. But I really believe the WBO might fast track in order um, Janabek and Shiraz to fight for the WBO and what would be the IBF titles this year. The middleweight division needs a star, and if Jonabek were to beat Shiraz, or Shiraz were to beat Jonabek, that would play that part. So we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on undefeated middleweight contender Hamza Shiraz. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.